Hello fellow translators. So today's video is for people who wish to expand and by expand I mean people who want to become freelance translators and hope to eventually or maybe they're already starting now to set up their own translation agency. This is the route that I took and, um, and I also have a course called How to Set Up Your Translation Agency which addresses this and especially it's especially for people who are freelance translators and who then wanted to become a translation agency. So this is for you guys. And I remember that every time I've mentioned it here on these videos, there seems to be a lot of interest in that. And a lot of the questions that I would get would have to do with that. So I thought I would mention this, just that I've added something to that course. And um, by the way, and I've mentioned this before as well, but if you want to take my courses, you can take all the courses on Skillshare, where my courses are, um, you can take them for free for uh, so how to, skill, the way Skillshare works is you pay a monthly fee and then you have access to all their courses. It's different from other places where you pay for each course. And if you use the link below in the description below, you'll find a link for Skillshare. If you use that, then you get two months for free, and uh, and then you can quit. You know, anytime before those two months are due, and uh, and then you just got access for free. I don't think you get to keep access to all the, you know, to any of the courses. If, if you quit, but at least you can access them and you can see the courses. So if you want to do that, that's always an option. Just use that code that I have there below and you can access the courses for free. Um, and anyway, I've mentioned that before, but I thought I should mention that again, just in case. Anyway, for my translation course, the translation agency course, what I've added is a section where I talk about, well, basically how to merge. So a lot of issues that will come up when you're setting up a translation agency, when you're looking to set up a translation agency. Many times just as a translator you'll realize that maybe you're very good at uh, at finding new clients, at marketing and sales. You're good at getting out there. People know you in the community. People trust you and stuff like that. But maybe you have problems finding the right translators for the job and trying to find who can translate this to that language, who's good, who's reliable, stuff like that. Or maybe you're the opposite. I'm the opposite. I'm very good at finding good translators. And, uh, you know, especially now I know what to look for and how to look for it and, and how to uh, test the translators. But I'm very bad at the marketing and sales in general and, uh, and finding new clients. And that to al always has been a struggle for me. And, you know, so you could be either side of this. And so my, my advice basically for all of this is to, uh, to find someone else in your shoes, hopefully someone who has the opposite issues and that way you guys can help each other out. And there are many other ways you can do that. Like if you do say Portuguese to English translations, it might help if you can have an address um, in, if you're say in the States, if you can have an address in Brazil, say, or Portugal, and you know, that's a place where someone could maybe pick up the phone, could uh, you know, receive mail or stuff like that. So you have someone local in both places. And just, there are many different reasons why it could be good to merge with someone else and kind of, set up both of your own things or just you know merge it however you want it still is two entities but you help each other out in your in your in partnership you're in an umbrella group or maybe you just become one company and the problem here is to find other people like you because you don't want to find an established translation agency because then you're negotiating negotiating out of a point of weakness right because they're already established they they don't really have any benefits, so they can dictate whatever terms they want to you and you don't want that. You want to find other people in your shoes and so you guys can help each other out. And But how do you find other people in your shoes? Well, the best way I could come up with, at least in the course, was other people who are taking that same course, right? And uh, so I just offered there in the course that people could use the discussion area below and uh, and just try to find other people in their same shoes and help each other out. So anyway, feel free to go to the course and um, and if you're in this situation, feel free to go there and to to mention the discussion area below that that's what you're looking for or see if anyone else is looking for something similar. And I think it could be very interesting. And, and I mentioned this because actually it looks like something like this might be happening uh, for my agency. I won't get into any details because nothing nothing is set yet but uh, and it, I just realized I was like oh I should have looked into something like this a lot sooner and that's why I wanted to bring it up in my course and I'm bringing it up here as well just in case any of you have interest feel free to check out the course and uh, and then you can check it out I'll, I'll link I guess to the course the translation course specifically itself uh, so you know what uh, um, so you can access it directly and uh, and feel free to check it out and yeah see if there are any other people like you who are trying to set up and maybe you guys can help each other out and partner up somehow. It can also be maybe you're very good at romance languages and someone else has everything 
uh, you know, everything set up for Asian languages. And if you group together, you, you both can offer more. Anyway, whatever it might be, if you find someone else to partner up with, it can uh, it, it could be very helpful. You never know. So uh, so anyway, I just wanted to bring that up. Hopefully, you can find this useful. Feel free to check out the course and uh, and definitely let me know if something like this works out because I love to hear about it and I love to hear uh, about how things go. And otherwise, that's pretty much it. And I will talk to you next time. Okay, thanks. Bye. Savedum.